Hello, good morning. Sorry for not having uploaded the following slides. I was sick. So let us continue with the next power, Capricorn Lagna, third power. Third power of Capricorn Lagna falls in Pisces, which is a dual watery sign. And a couple of fish are tied in the opposite directions as their symbol. Pisces is also the 12th house of the Kala Purusha, resulting in the natural losses to the third house attributions of courage, bravery, desire, goal orientation and wants. Jupiter, the third lord in Pisces, is of that a forgiving quality in comparison to Jupiter in Sagittarius, which is more a authoritative or a commanding quality. Keeping these fixed results or fixed qualities of the third bhava, the following will be the results of the natives, which is pre ordained or pre-consistent, uh, pre-given, it's given. This uh, result is given that the these qualities will influence the natives which we, who will have periods of indecision, exclusiveness, evasiveness, a want of frequent changes, do not know what he wants to do or she wants to do, and there is a change in their goalpost desires or wants. Therefore, Capricorn natives will benefit with the influence of planets posted or aspecting the third house or the third lord and malefic planets influencing the third lord or the third house gives Capricorn Lagnas a little more stability. The reason behind is the Rashi symbol is a calm symbol. Therefore, when a calm symbol is associated with a malefic planet, the malevolence of the planet is reined in. Benefic influences in the third house or the third bhava is giving the native a more laid back approach. Benefic influence, especially for the third bhava, is a completely a laid back approach because the benefic planet does not have the push that is necessary to complete the third bhava karatatvas. Therefore, the native's approach to life or goal orientation will be laid back or we shall see what to do. Now I am giving you the results of the following planets posted in the third house of Pisces and it is only applicable for the Capricorn Lagnas. Mars gives silent or calm courage as I already explained that the Rashi quality is a calm quality therefore the Mars's energies are distributed or reined in to give a focused approach. The native will not rush or jump into action but will think thoroughly before taking any actions. Saturn will give preservations, persistence or preservation or a, a, a tendency to complete what he has started with. Sun will give him the cool ability and a not a show of ego but enough ego to achieve what he wants. Rahu will give you wants. Ketu will show a detached approach whereas a Venus who is exalted but since it is exalted in Jupiter's house, his qualities are reined in but again will give you a carefree attitude. Moon will give you a wandering or a uh, wandering attitude since it is a planet of travel and it is how in the uh, sign of travel. Mercury even though be 
is being nicha and loses some of its qualities mercury is very resourceful and intellectual these qualities become useless if mercury does not get nich bang raj yoga jupiter gives qualities of overthinking thereby postponing or delaying the reactions to the situations now let us look at this chart here rahu is posted in the third house mars gives his eighth aspect on rahu moon is aspecting rahu and moon is in rahu ketu axis now in the navamsha the moon is in the fifth amsha the in the rashi chart the third lord jupiter is placed in the fourth house of sukha with no aspects on him now in the following charts let us in the following chart let us look at each of the karatatvas siblings is the first karatatva of the third house rahu in the third house gives additions so there will be an addition unless rahu is afflicted with other planets there may not be but rahu alone will give additions and moon is aspecting rahu which is a female planet therefore there can and will be a sibling determination and courage mars is a lord of the courage and energy here mars is aspecting the house third house thereby giving him determination and courage but a silent determination communication rahu in the third house associated or aspected by both moon and mars can make the native talk very fast thereby giving him probably a stammer or a break in his sentences right now let us look at wants and desires and fulfillment of these desires again rahu is posted in the third house which will definitely give him a want and since both mars and moon are aspecting the third house the wants may vary from time to time short travels again the sign is a watery sign which promises short travel it is aspected by moon which again is a promise to short travels therefore the natives may travel spasmodically during the dasha bhuktis of these planets now the placement of the third lord in the fourth house is not really very desirable because there is a factor of contentment since the fourth house is understood to be the factor of contentment there is a desire to be content with the quantum of efforts the native will put but since the third house is highly motivated the native may have a little more desire than if no malefics were influencing the third house please note only for pisces malefic influences are useful for other houses malefic influences may not be that useful the third house of parakrama having the malefic influences is a positivity whereas the any other house having a parakrama not being a parakrama having influences of malefics may not be very conductive now for the navamsha the navamsha fifth house it is placed in the fifth amsha thereby having a purva punya for the karatatvas of the third house therefore the native is blessed with the previous karmas 
thereby achieving the third house qualities of courage, bravery, parakrama, sibling, wants, short travels. If this video has been useful to you, please do subscribe. My next video will be Aquarius Lagna, third bhava. You could also follow me at G3 Astro. Thank you.